ukomeye nubucanze kumva mu mutwe. He left me a word which cannot be erased in my head in my heart. Twari muri press conference. We was in a press conference. Concert yari bubere mu ntare. The concert will take place to Inhari Arena. Agomba kuririmba nange ngomba kubwiriza. He was supposed to sing and I was supposed to preach. Abanyamakuru baramwegera baramubaza. The journalists get closer to him and asked him. Baramubwira ngo bishop. They told him bishop. Byagenze bite? How did it happen? Ubasha kumara imyaka 33 uri umustar wa mbere. Can you spend 35 years while you were the number first star? Imyaka 33 irashize. 35 years it's over. No one has replaced you to become a star. The first year, a star. Second year, Dubai. 33 years, Dubai. What's a secret that you have used? What we need, it's in what we are expected out from. Let me repeat. If you do shock, what we need, it is out of what we are expected to do. When we get able to do what we are expected to do, this is when we find in what we want. See if there is something really hard. A man in his home, in good chairs, in good house, with a television, daughters and sons, wife, eating well they bring food you ate them it is really hard for a man to stand with that fed and go to pray it is one man among ten one among ten while he was hungry he used to take hunger and go to pray but how many men how many wives whom is fed in his family in his house that house those children that money then I told my friends that my spirit is telling me to go to Kanombe to the airport so that I can tell the airplanes that will take me in evangelism it was dreams. I sit in a plane. Where are you going? In evangelism. What's your name? Huduma James. Huduma James. He doesn't do what he got to our power. He doesn't do even what he got to our power. His power. He's standing up here. He's telling people that may it happen as you believe. I've told the church members of our hours that the far a person can reach is not far where is in God's mind. The far you can reach it's what's in your mind. The power of vision. God has told Abraham that stretch your eyes where your eyes will reach this is where you will be I will not take you crossing where your eyes are and I, will not. and I know that people are in prayers it is something that I never joke with. I tell Christians that if you've got other reasons for you to not pray, if you've got other revelations that don't push you to pray, I'm not scared to tell you that. Prophet Ernest. I thank God for Prophet Ernest. Uh, I saw him in our <laughs> party and I was so happy. Uh, I thank God that this is my first place I stand after getting this anointing of becoming a missionary. It's a great miracle from God. It's not, it's not normal for me to get like a, a midweek program like this. When I have a certain program, I take it for three months, two months. But this program or this plan of coming here did not spend a week. It is a plan of God. 
So I thank God for it. Uh, it for a long time ago working like a missionary. It's been my 12th year. 2011, this is when I was in Sudan. I was looking for the people who can receive Christ in their lives. Up to today, I still seek for the people to receive Christ. Amen. 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 But I'm going to tell you. It's really great. About it and I feel emotion. So you Kuko feel sorry. Because we have a serious problem. Yeah. <laughs> the serious problem that we have. This is what the pastor was talking about. It's what concerns the principles of God. Amahame, the principles. It is a cover. You got the meaning of a cover. The cover that covers the Christianity of a person. A person or a Christian who doesn't have principles. His Christianity can be easily gotten. Let me repeat this. When you leave Christianity with no principles, your Christianity, everyone can access it. Let me request you this. Let's stop being hot, hot. Listen first. The principles, it is a breed. It is a red that a person goes so that you can receive what's from God. Because what's from God was set in principles. When you're going beyond the principles, don't think that you will receive what's from God. We will go to the principles so that we can receive. When you don't have principles, when you don't have principles, when you don't have principles principles. You always look at them far from you, but you don't get them. But those who want to receive what from God, they go on a red code, principles of God. Is there anybody who, are, who is getting me? This. He said something great. Second book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. On last Wednesday, I stood here on this pulpit. The people who gather on Wednesday. I was telling about seven gates which takes a person in blessing. I let people speak about principles, not getting hot before you listen. Oh yeah. Listen to the principle, activate it, and get its benefits. Whenever you get courageous to obey and understand me, the gate of the blessing will be opened and take you in. This is what the pastor was talking about. They tell you to receive the principle of the gate which opens for a body to enter in a blessing. That gate is called obedience. That gate which is open and you reach in the blessing. It says if you get ready to obey me, if you get careful to what I instruct you, this gate will be open and you enter in the blessing. But what's pre blessing? It is obedience. Then after they told you to receive and you received our principles our principles if you go beyond the principle they are lying to you our principles <laughs> is there anybody who is getting me 
Umugabo nkunda cyane. A man I love. Yavuze ikintu gikomeye. Say the great word. Aravuga ngo ntabwo ntinya ejo hazaza. And he said I'm not scared of tomorrow. Baramubaza ngo kuki udatinya ejo hazaza. They ask him why don't you fear about tomorrow? Wewe ubasha kuhareba. Can you see your future? And he said, I can't see my tomorrow. So why aren't you scared of your tomorrow? He said, what takes over my worry of tomorrow? It is because I have the possessor of tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Let me repeat. What takes over the fear to a Christian of tomorrow? You see the way we are scared. Everything, the prices are up. You are thinking about everything you see, it's really hard. Why are we scared? Do you think about tomorrow and you can't find it? The problem is what? You don't have the one who has tomorrow. When you have the tomorrow hold, the present fear and the tomorrow fear gets over because we have the one who has tomorrow. Reply to me, please. Say amen. Let's say hallelujah. Can we say hallelujah? <laughs> I will tell you the word of today's Thursday. I had a lot of things to tell me. To tell you. 21 days of praying. When we reach to praying, I sit. Because this is the greatest thing I like in life. When I reach to the point of giving out testimony, I will tell you the meaning of my name. Since I went to Sahara, Sudan, I yet give out testimony. The time will come where I will give out my testimony. Huduma. Huduma. Na masenge shoyi means. Ah, many days prayers. Aho na baga iyo ba kora gama masenge shoyi means iwa itagango ni huduma. Where we used to live, whenever I could get prayers of many days, they call it huduma. This is where I was born. Let me repeat it. My name Huduma. They used to spend many days praying. So those prayers of many days is called Huduma. Then I was born in. Then they gave me this name of prayer, Huduma. My mother and my father, they told God that this is the sacrifice that we bring to you. I, was, I am a sacrifice that has been offered for long ago. When then I get to the point called praying, and I know that people are in prayers, it is something that I never joke with. I tell Christians that if you've got other reasons for you to not pray, if you've got other revelations that don't push you to pray, I'm not scared to tell you that you are in wrong way. In life for people want to reach far. They never walk by feet. They use knees. If you want to reach far in life, kneel down. <laughs> Let me repeat it. People will tell you a lot of things. They tell you other many things. But if you want to reach far in life, Hallelujah. If you see others, they have cars, they went. You find others are promoted. Go to your knees. Express. Express. Which takes people far. 
kutemera guhemukira mavi yao it is to not accept to fail your knees kimwe mu kintu tazahemukira mu buzima bwao one of the things that you won't fail in your life buzime amavi yao gufukama don't deny your knees to kneel ugahemukira mavi yao ngo yime gufukama never fail to your knees so that it may miss to kneel Hallelujah. The people are giving credits of prayer. Musengere. Pray for me. Musengere. Pray for me. Ha uzagusengera. No one will pray for you. Hari umuri mu mwe kwisi utakorerwa nundi muntu. There is one single work in the world no one can serve you. Umuri mu witwa gusenga. A work called praying. No umuri mu uri personnel. It is a personal work. No one can pray for you. You are giving out credit so that they can pray for you. You paying the people can go to pray for you. You give them your knees. The day you will be able to shift your knees so that you they can go in. At the day they will pray for you. But the day you will be having your knees. You need to kneel for yourself and pray. Kneel on your knees and know how to pray. Are you getting what I'm saying? Munyita betuvuge amen. Reply and say amen. Munyita betuvuge hallelujah. Reply and say hallelujah. Oh, maze kugeza mahame 15 yo gusenga. Today I have 15 principles of praying. Natekereje ngo mbabwire se gusenga. I thought, can I tell you about praying? Wera muri mu minsi 21 Because you are in 21 days. We talk about praying. But they told me that it is the Thursday of this place to be taken over to us. It is a Thursday for the dispers to be taken over. Back. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's again say hallelujah. I talked to a man who was here in Rwanda from South Africa. A man called Benjamin Dube. He left me a word which cannot be erased in my head, in my heart. We was in a press conference. The concert will take place to Inhari Arena. He was supposed to sing and I was supposed to preach. The journalists get closer to him and asked him. They told him Bishop. How did it happen? Can you spend 35 years while you were the number first star? 35 years it's over no one has replaced you to become a star the first year a star second year Dube. 33 years Dube. what's a secret that you have used he told them that within all those years as those years are I did not fail my knees to pray he told them the second thing he told them that within all those years he used always to think about someone he can raise he did not think about by himself raising but he think there is, the, is there a man down so that I can raise him is there an upcoming artist so that I can raise him praying Praying. A teacher of praying is called praying. A secret of praying. It is praying in secrets. Okay. Eh. Let me repeat it. Let me repeat it. A teacher of praying is called praying. Praying is what teach a person to pray. I will repeat again. <laughs> they led to you. They led to you. Praying. We, we is taught by praying. And when a person is going to pray rightly, you pray in secret. Because praying in secret it is the secret of praying. Yes, then Jesus told his disciples he told them that if you pray never be like a hypocrite when they are going to pray lift up your hands let's say amen 
It's possible that you won't love me. But I can tell you what can be important in your life. The French people give out on a proverb that never allow a person to give you a fish. But let this person teach you how to fish it. The most important that we can tell you the most important that prophet can tell you it is to tell you that learn how to pray. Mom, learn how to pray. Sister, learn how to pray. Brother, learn how to pray. Brother, learn how to pray. Where the world is. It requires you to pray. Where the world is taking us. It requires us to pray. Something you can train your children. The heritage you can give your children. It is not beautiful. It is not money. The heritage you can give your children. It is the you can give your children. It is the prayer. And he said, Our father and our mother passed away. But they left to me what what's important it is to pray nibanga bahe basigi wa mazuna base barayanwa how many whom got heritages from their father houses and they drank them jewe nturi iki giporoso I am from Jiporoso. I am a neighborhood of this place. It's possible that here it's a place which has many crazy people. I don't know whether you have recognized it. Since long ago, when you meet people that are so rich, in their family they were so rich. Why didn't he maintain all the treasure from the parents? <laughs> Dear sisters, dear brothers, dear parents, praying it is a sacred. Praying it is power which makes you maintain what you've been given. Your father gives you heritage. But for your heritage to be in peace, let's say hallelujah. What we've been given by God. God is responsible to secure. What I've got by kneeling. When I get it. By the result of prayers I get it. I can't be its security. If I get it, the one who gave it to me is the one who became the God of it. But what you shall get in other ways, you will become its God. Because God cannot be the Omega of what he has not been Alpha for. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> if you have a book, please try to write something down. God cannot be Omega of what he didn't been for Alpha. It is impossible. What he started, he will be the one to finish it. What you started by yourself, he will be the one to finish it. But God protects what he gave. What Completes what he started. When I'm talking about this, please allow me if I keep on turning, turning to prayer. The principles of prayer. Praying is not changing the situation of prison. The best reason for us to pray. 21 days of prayer. It is not for our situation to change. The Christian we living in a wrong life. A great purpose of prayer is to change praying. I can repeat. 
Zaburi ya mirongo chenda. Psalms chapter 19. Mirongo chumi na gatatu. Verse 13. Yitwa Zaburi ya Mose. It is called Psalms of Moses. Zaburi ya Mose. The Psalms of Moses. Mose ya andisari mubutai. Moses wrote it while he was in desert. Aja kumusoza ya guseng. He went to the mountain to pray. Bandika Zaburi yitwa Zaburi ya Mose. They wrote Psalms of Moses. Ali maraseng. While he was praying. Mirongo chumi na gatatu. To 13. Haravu gangwiki. How does it say? Uite kagaruka. The Lord come back. Uye kawatize. Come reveal yourself. Uye kawatize. Oh Jesus. Uite kagaruka. Oh Lord, how long will it be? Uye kawatize uzazaryari. Oh my God. Abagaragu wa watu kuma vitura gutegereje nguze. Your servant, we are on knees. We are waiting for you to come. Uzazaryari ngudu hinduriri yimitima. When are you coming back to change our hearts? Mureke mbabugire. Let me tell you. Moses did not pray to ask God so that he may change their decision. And ask God to come and change their heart. He knew whether the transformation of hearts and it transformed heart this is what brought the delays of Jesus they delayed in this because of the heart of Israel while God looked at their hearts he said he said your heart yet permits you you yet been qualified to go to Canaan while Moses a servant of God was praying he said oh Lord when are you coming you delayed when are you coming so that you may change our hearts because the transformation of hearts it is the end of desert wait wait don't pray for the situation you are in business today the business of God is not the change of today's Business situation. The business of God it is to change you. Today we have a problem of not telling people to change. Then we tell them that the prison situation are going to change. It will change after God transformed your heart. Those who knows me they call me a revolutionist. Cause changing the leadership we need to revolt. There are things which might be changed. The business of God is not your present situation to change. The business of God it is your heart to change. When we are telling God the God situation, situation, situation. No, no. God will first deal with your heart. Because your heart It is what has made him give out his He did not give out his only begotten son He gave it to your life so that it may change Where are you going? You released yourself and you gave out your life. For which reason? For my life to change. This is the only reason that has made him support his life. It was for your life to change. So we we ignore that our lives can change. We ignore that we can change ourselves. And we think that the situation deserves to change. While praying, it is first it must transform you first. Today's evening, I want us to change our prayer. I want God come and change my heart. Come and change my heart. Come and change me. We know Hindu. Come and transform me. The connection or a relation you have with God, it's not what He has for you. The relation is what you are. God doesn't take just only as simple as you think and he submit to you. Oh yeah. No, no, no. 
He wants you that you are transformed and you become you. When you become a child at home, he tells you that what at home belongs to you. But after becoming a child at home, then today we don't want to become children. But we want what belongs to the children of the house. How do we need to get the belongs to the kingdom while we don't want to become the kingdom's children? If we need what from the palace, let's come and tell the king that we accept to become your person. I accept to become a child of the king. I accept to become your child. I have the power to change. <laughs> Didn't I tell you that you will not love me? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Nowadays, the Christian to tell you transformation is really hard. You want us to live in the same situation. Then they tell us that we shall receive the blessing. It is impossible. It is impossible. It is impossible. It first gets the transformation. Then after we receive what we need. What we need It's in what we are expected out from Let me repeat What we need It is out of what we are expected from When we get able to do what we are expected to do This is when we find in what we want let me repeat it. Let me tell you this. These are the principles of the kingdom. We don't just run, run and say, hey, give me. God has taken what you want. And he hides it in who you want to be. And he tells you, you are here. Huduma James, you are here. And you want God to give you. Then God tells you that what you're asking me, it is there where I want you to be. Have a journey for transformation. Then be who I want you to be. After becoming who I want you to be, you will get what you want. We need to understand the principles of the kingdom. If we don't understand from the principles, there are words that we're going to share. Is there any person who can hear from me? Let's lift up our hands. Let's say hallelujah. <laughs> When I talk about this, this is when I get full of joy. I feel happy. Dear Church of God, let me tell you the truth. The time is coming. The time is coming. Look, this is the time. This is the time where we need to know the truth of the Word of God. Hallelujah. Huh? These are prophets of God and they're really great. great. Maybe I'm not qualified to stand before them. Uh, someone said that uh, when now go on the I sometimes say that I'm not qualified like you. But the Bible says if the light of God has lightened to me. If the light of God has lightened to me. I started preaching uh, the gospel while I get on a ride of 600. Look at my head to go on a ride. I go looking for the people who will be saved. Then after getting tired of it, Pastor was talking about it and I feel it, I understand it very well. Then I told my brethren to go to Nyabugogo. There is a car which is called Jaguar and Kampala coach. I felt like it was something great to go with Kampala coach. While I'm going to evangelism. Then I went to Nyabugogo. In the cars. I said there's cars. You need to take me to evangelism. I was feeling there was something really great. You were from the right. 
ugiye and you go vero, to vero vero ndavu igare kugenda ku igare ugiye muri jagu then you were entering in jagwa cyari gikomeye it was serious thing ntabwo byari byoro it was in that easy jagu iranjyana then jagwa took me birahinduka it has changed mbira bagenzi banje then i told my friends ndabwira ngo mwuka wanjye uri murambira ngo ngi kanombe ku kibuga that my spirit is telling me to go to kanombe nje ko hanuri ndege mbira ndege ngo mwandege mwe mugomba kunjyana mwivuka so that i can tell the airplanes that they will take me in evangelism it was dreams i sit in a plane ugiye we you going mwivuga butumwa in evangelism what's your name huduma james huduma james nago mwabyumva you can't imagine you can't understand birashoboka ko mweho mwavuke ahantu muzibone possibly that maybe we were born in a place where you can see them that is you uyu munsi today i sit twishuye tike indege uzaze kuvuga ubutumwa we paid an air ticket please come and preach us but before i go to preach the gospel i first had time to go and preach to the trees when i'm looking to 3000 people were sitting in a conference what first comes in my mind it was the first day i preached the trees then i prepare while well, i'm going to preach the trees then i go in the forest in the name of jesus Band there, can you hear me in the forest <laughs> It doesn't come in a break morning then you start on the palapoot. It start first in secret. I've told you that the secret of praying it is to pray in secret. Do you know what's on time? Prayer mood. Prayer mood. Pre-status. On your status. Jesus said if you pray Never be like a hypocrite They go to the, 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 the roundabout They go to the roundabout They tell people that we are praying hey. Hey. I can see your mouth uh, your, your, your lips are dry oh, We are in 21 days of praying actually. It's been a long time without it You see we, it's been a long time without it. We are praying. What does the Bible say? The Bible says if you want prayer and you want to go out where you shall meet people, go in your bathroom, take shower. After taking shower, take your lotion, then take your ribbon, then take it on your lips. Behave, master ask life if you not pray because the secret of praying it is praying in secrets that if you go out make sure you take your lotion this is how the bible says and while you fast it's not necessarily for people to be it is your secret but dear sisters pray mood Prayer mood. Prayer mood. Prayer mood. Oh. Jesus. The secret of praying. There are other people we have who attend here to pray, but don't pray at their home. Let me tell you this news. Are we still together? Can we shout hallelujah? Can we say hallelujah lifting? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Where's Jesus? <laughs> Let me tell you this news. I will tell you the journey of being out of slavery so that the despise can be taken over to us. Let me repeat. The journey from slavery so that we can reach to the focal point of our despise. Because the despise to be taken over, it first has the pre journey from slavery. Understand me. 
Where your disperse will be taken over to you is there. God tells you that I take over this place. Look where they are. But the first had a journey which will take them out of slavery to be in slavery. It has taken on them this place. Today you will be out of slavery and take you to Canaan and the disperse will be taken over to you. If someone can hear me saying amen, it didn't break morning and the disperse got taken over. It wasn't in one morning for the disperse to be taken over. They started with the life in slavery. They walked the journey of slavery. The life of slavery. Life of slavery. Then one day God told them that come out. He said go. Be from. Go to. The way you shall reach there. This path will be taken over to you. It is impossible for this past to be taken over to you while you're still in slavery. We are going to see the journey that takes us out of slavery. Allow me so that we say amen. Shout again, hallelujah. Let's say hallelujah. The journey from slavery is toward Canaan where your disperse shall be taken over to us. Let us read the word of God. Joshua. In the book of Joshua. <laughs> Joshua. Joshua. Chapter 5. Verse 9. Joshua. Joshua. Chapter 5. Verse 9. Joshua chapter 9 chapter 5 verse 9 We take a Yahoo Igisuzuguriro Avanyagi Putawa Suzuguraga Nichogi Tuma Ahanu Itwa Igirugari Nabugingo Nubu Ame. Then the Lord said to Joshua Today I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. So the place has been called Gilga today, to this day. Amen. This is the news we're going to talk about. <laughs> this is the news we're going to talk about. Which tells us the journey. <laughs> When it's called journey, it requires you some package. Say amen. When it's a journey, when it's a journey, it requires a package. Let me tell you, dear congregation of God, the package of the journey never it destroy the purpose of your journey. Mm -hmm. Let me repeat. Never allow the package to be used in journey. Can finish the purpose of your journey. There is a time we start journey. Then when we start our journey. And God gives you a package to use. After God gives you a package. Then the journey gets over. Then a person takes time to relax. What God give you? It was the package to support you in your journey. Why did you destroy your journey? This is why God has many enemies. The enemies of God are those he replied to. I must tell Christian this. It is simple. To go to pray while I'm hungry. I go with my hunger. I go in the room of prayer. But if there is something really hard, a man in his home, 
in good chairs Munzuze. in good house Televizio with the television daughters and sons Madame we. wife eating well they bring food you ate them it is really hard for a man to stand with that fed and go to pray it is one man among ten one among ten while he was hungry he used to take hunger and go to pray but how many men how many wives whom is fed in his family in his house that house those children that money is the package that gave you to keep your journey why do we allow the packages from God to support us can make us forget about our purpose why why? God answers people and they make reasons to not come to pray. The journey's changed. The speaking style changed. God has answered us. What God gave you, it's the package to support you. Dear brethren, it is the package. The job God gave you, it's a support. Let's keep on our journey. Never lose targets. Let's keep our journey. Let's keep our journey. While Israelite was from Egypt, they was making a journey so that the marriage where this person would be taken over. They had a journey. And God called Moses. He told him Moses. Come and get them out of Egypt. They was in this place. I was in this part. I want them to be out of this despair. Go and get them from Pharaoh's place. Come from Pharaoh first. I'm going to tell you five traps of Pharaoh. Which is what we're going through nowadays. A person thinks that this person will be taken over to you. But you first need to take off something. There is a journey that you must first have. There is a journey that you must first have. The journey of fighting with Pharaoh. Kuva. Exodus chapter 5 verse 2 the first trap I don't have time to read I will say it quickly those who can write together, the first battle the first trap of the devil God has told Moses he told him that Israelite clan is their attempt to be out of this but they made five traps of the devil which are what we're fighting nowadays there's a what Christian doesn't accept to fight number first Pharaoh told Moses he told him that who is the Lord so that I can obey him who is the Lord so that I can obey him no I Pharaoh you tell me that the Lord has said who is the Lord so that I can obey him that was the first trap he despised our God in our sight he tell God you that God didn't do anything let me tell you the serious problem the Christians we have problem of seeing God in what he didn't see we look at God in those who has failed you start despising God it is the first trap of the devil he come and whisper in our ears that who is the Lord then they run and we say who is the Lord who is that when he wants to get you weak, he say, What's that? What's, what, 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 what's that? What's that? Eh? Eh? Many Christians have jumped <laughs> in that trap because we are saved. But come and hear from what will happen. Can we say Amen? Hallelujah. Let's say Hallelujah. 
Who is the Lord so that I can obey him? This is the first trap that Pharaoh gave to Israel. They wanted to be out of this pie. Then they go and I will take the crown. But they first need to feed the bottles. This is the first battle. Who is the Lord so that I can obey him? The devil tells us that God didn't do it. When you feel the devil is telling you that God Who is the Lord? Then God bring troubles. God bring disasters. Then the second one came. Then Pharaoh told the Israelites. Look at the second thing he told them. Something really great. He told them that there is no problem. I will let you go to offer sacrifice to your God. Go and give out sacrifice to your God. But make sure you sacrifice in this country. Dear congregation of the Lord, listen to me. The devil is not worried or scared that we give up. He tells people that. I will allow you to go and become singers. You want to be a singer? Yes, get a microphone and you want to be a musician. Go there and play the music. You want to give out offering. Go and give out. But he tells you that. Do it in this place. In my country. In Egypt. Do it in devil's territory. The second trap. The devil tells them. That it doesn't matter to offer sacrifice to God. The sister, please go and be an interpreter. Go and the gospel. But do it in Egypt. He told them that. I allow you, please, offer sacrifice to your God. But make sure that you offer sacrifice in Egypt. Then God bring disasters. Look, this is the problem we are facing. A singer Monishi sang. If it's fasting the devil fast, he doesn't eat if fast If you think that fasting is what can take you there, the devil never eats. It requires you fight. 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 I like telling Christians listen to me let's say amen I tell Christians to wait to beat Jesus first hey, when Ronald and we say in the name of Jesus you first beat the devil if you yet fail yourself you cannot be successful if you yet feel like you failed for yourself it requires you to first win yourself so that you can be successful the greatest battle for the Christian it is to fight by yourself you fight yourself the devil doesn't have any chain he chain a person with the chain he finds you with the chain he finds you with he chains you with it the devil tells us that that let's then stop but stay in this place this place will not be the cannot if you yet offer sacrifice be in it won't work be out of it be out of it so that we may go to the so that this place may be taken over be from Pharaoh's place what are you doing to Pharaoh's place? The third trap. The third trap. He told Israelites. 
in Exodus 824. 824 Exodus. I will let you go. As you deny to offer sacrifice to your God in this country. But make sure you don't go far from me. Don't go far from me. Go and offer sacrifice. But if I need you, I will come and get you. Then I let you go again. Christians. Christians. Satan. The devil is telling us that go. We dance. We dance. <laughs> Prophets are facing challenges. They prophesy, they prophesy, they prophesy. Let me tell you the truth. God will not do what you ask. And God will not do for you what's equal to his power. God will do what's equal to your faith. Let me repeat this. Prophet Ernest. Azahanura. Prophet Ernest will prophesy. Jean Paul Mukanyaraje. Azahanura. Jean Paul is coming to prophesy. But God will do what's equal to your faith. God doesn't work as our power is. He doesn't do what's equal to us. He doesn't do even what's equal to our His power. Your power is standing up here. 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 Your power is standing up the far you can reach it's what's in your mind the power of vision God has told Abraham that stretch your eyes where your eyes will reach this is where you will be I will not take you crossing where your eyes are and I will not take you where you this is where I will take you then we are even weak to see far I'm going slowly in the market of miracles in the market of miracles the money that works there is called faith can't you see that we come in the market of miracles you go there and they tell you that you want a miracle yes I come in need of a miracle ok get us faith then we give you a miracle in the market of miracles the francs that work there it's called faith prayers takes you in markets if you reach there they ask you faith <laughs> I try to reduce my philosophy so that you can listen. Let me tell you the truth. The hands that receives what from God. I am about to conclude. Among five things I told you to remain. Evangelist come. Look at the way we pray and God has They prophesy to us, but we don't get what they prophesy to us. Let me tell you the truth. Imana iba yehe tu gira ngo dore bisha bino bagu hanuri aki. God tells us, look at the things they prophesy to you that I receive. Can you see me? Receive. He came to pray. Receive. Do you know the reason why he's not receiving? He doesn't have faith. Because faith is what receives what God gives you. The Bible talks about two people who God is not happy with. It's written in the book of Romans chapter 2 verse 8. The person of emotion. It is impossible for the one who is ruled by nature to be 
umuntu wa kabiri utagenezeza imana the second person it is the one who doesn't believe abahe burayo 11 mu murongo wa gatanu Hebrews 11 verse 6 tibikunda kutizera it is impossible for the one who doesn't believe can make a happy why umunezero w'imana the joy of god it is to see us receiving what he gave us but look he can't receive what has received is what we call faith. There's hands which hold the joy of God. It is to see evangelists receiving. When you don't have faith, you will pray in the name of Jesus. God miracle. We need hands which takes what they prophesy to you and those hands is called faith may God bless you let me conclude on these two points the fourth trap the devil told Pharaoh and he told Israel he told Israel like that I will let you go but is it possible that your children can remain let the old women and old men go the old one allow them to go where are our girls where are our sisters where are our young brothers? The devil is selecting, selecting in the families. If you come to pray for us, please set free our families. The devil has selected. He tells the mothers to go. This is the tells the mothers and fathers to go. And he said, I will remain with youth. In the Exodus. Who are the people to go? Who are supposed to go? Who are people to go? Who are people to go? The old. I will remain with the young. Today they was telling me about a girl. She used to, de to do I work. I don't know what they had like a misunderstanding with the friends. After getting drunk, then the friends has made her drunk. Then they took so in eyes. Today, today, she's a blind with a stick. Our children, we let them go. Where? These spies will be taken over to us while we left our children behind. Hey. Hmm. This is the thirst for these spies to be taken over. Come carrying your children. Tell them that my children must be set free. My children must be set free. Where are our fathers, our mothers? Where are, fathers, our mothers? Where are them? We are talking about this place to be taken over while our families are still behind. Set your family free. It is the Thursday of getting set free. It is the third day for our dispense to be taken over. The reason why our family still has there are he who the devil still holds. Today it is the evening to set them free. <laughs> I walk during daytime and evening. I can't tell you the times I've been in jail. I go there reaching to the borders of countries. They tell you, hey, are you running? We don't want to run this here. Go in jail. I say if they release me I will find one who is not saved <laughs> Last time I told you something While I was in Sudan I used to meet girls who do those words. I speak to her. I tell her, do you know Christ? We start to converse. When we talk, 
umukiriya raje that hey, a client is coming customer raje nambira <laughs> okay genda umwakirura garuka usanga i say go and have your cousin. You will find me here. I sit and I wait for Akajakwa her. Akaja kwa kiri mukiri. She go to the customer. Kamwa chira ni bari sahamara. If it's an hour. Ndamu tegere sheni wangu huye murguanda. I sit, I wait for her because I was from Rwanda. Na wewe murguanda ndi onda china. Did I come from Rwanda joking? I come from Rwanda weeping. Nijeze kujira Sudan ni juba. Sige na nyumbi rivia manya nguanda. I reached to Sudan ni juba while I had two thousand Rwanda fans. Nazi ngonza wa hukute. Without knowing the way I will leave. Who will host me? Nzaka rukwa murguanda ruko vijenze. The way I will come back in Rwanda. Demi rifra Rwanda. 2,000 Rwandan francs. Jeze Murigari. Reaching at the gap, the bus parking. Nao nyumu nuwamba ye koro rome, koro rome ni wa ya mashati ya wa pastor. I saw a person who was in a... Nguri ya muga wa mubonyo. I said, as I meet this man. Ndamu gira amen abji ibura yara yungu. I will tell him amen if you listen to me. Are kukukuri hii. But maybe he will host me and those he, I will get the saved people then they will host me. He will enter in a house and go to receive a customer. I still wait. After the time of a client I tell him that her that Christ loves you. I tell her God, God loves you. You can't understand this. I was from that place having a church of the people who were saved there. Is, do you know poison? Do you know these black packages that <laughs> I had it with me? They told that we are giving you even poison that we used to do. We used to I used to work on fishing. <laughs> Yeah.